I work the midnight shift, so I sleep during the day, which is hard. Oh, so you're supposed to be asleep right now. Well, I'm, I was off the past two days, yeah, but I'm going in, <laughs> going in tonight. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. What I have to figure out is yeah. basically from your hand. Do you mind if I say no, this? No, absolutely. You can okay. show it. So he basically said he lost this pinky finger when he was 14, yeah. right, or when you were young. Yeah, 14. To a firework. So no playing with fireworks. <laughs> no, don't. So anyway, he's saying you just have a lot of pain yeah. in here. It's basically all in the thumb. All on right the here thumb. and the wrist is like definitely has lack of motion. Now, what I'm wondering is because it is significantly smaller than this side. Mm -hmm. you know? Now the forearm is about the same size. Mm -hmm. No pain like to where your pinky would have been? No, the, that's the surprising part. Most of the pain is all over here, like all in the thumb region, because like I said, I lost a lot of the muscle. So it's like possibly the stabilization and the thumb motion, like it's hard to reach. Okay. So I have to use like the tendon more so than the muscle. So I went, like I said, whenever I play golf or anything, this is, it just, everything hurts. The whole hand on this side hurts. Did you ever have like any um, phantom limb I did pain? for like a year, yeah. It, t it felt like every time I would go to sleep that it would just like stick out and it was so painful, yeah. And I can't even imagine people that lost full, full arms or legs or something. Well, yeah, because they'll say to me, oh, uh, you know, I feel it in my foot. Yeah. If I had a foot, like I'll right. have an amputee and they'll say, I swear, Doc, this pain is yeah. in my foot, oh, I in the stump it. of this thing. And it's spatial, too. Like, they'll still think it's right there, too. Right. And yeah. I, it's because it's from the central nervous system. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm asking him, is it out in the pinky where he lost his foot? No, yeah. it's in his thumb, which he still has, right. which is still connected to the brain. Yeah. There's so much missing muscle. So when that firework work went off, yeah. the whole hand got... The whole hand. Like, you can see there's, like, one... It just I, got... I'm surprised they saved it. They had it. It was up in Mayo Clinic. They used, like, a vein out of my foot. It was like an eight-hour surgery, so it was crazy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my I God. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think it's up into your forearm. No. You know, it, no. Yeah. Because sometimes if it gets ripped here, these mm -hmm. will shrivel back. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, they'll if it yeah. got torn at all in here, they'll kind of come back and you'll lose, like, kind of go like that for me. Yeah, you have pl good tone yeah. in your forearm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that again for me, and then I cut. Yeah, I can feel all these contract. You know, and then I wonder, does he still have flexor digitorum super? Mm -hmm. Oh man, long like, name. Like this one right here, where I can still. Like, yeah, flex yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you do see that? Okay, he still has all of these here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that again. He still has use of this yeah. ulnar side. It's just he doesn't have a pinky. Mm -hmm. And then you said that this here is broken. This one like is permanently broken. Like you can just do anything you want to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, this finger is this is my strongest finger by far. Like you can grab it, and it's about the strength of two fingers, which is which is cool how the body adapts. And then I always, you know, when I'm going side to side, the muscle mass just isn't here. Mm -hmm. Is this weak? Like if you were to push, uh, like, pinching. My hand? Yeah, pin that's that's pretty weak. Yeah. Oh, you still yeah. got good strength though, but you're saying you're having. It's to the ten. You can see the tendon. Like you see if like how much more the tendon is utilized. But yeah, they literally said it, I'm missing about seventy percent. Just got it was lost. Okay, and just lots of pain. Would mm -hmm. you say it's more here, or would you say it's more here? It's more in this, like, saddle joint here, yeah. Okay, that's a different, that's something yeah. different. So this, these two joints right here. Do they, is it, how long has that been hurting you? Um, like this, I mean, this probably, symptom. probably, like, three or four years. Like, every time it goes over, it sounds like sandpaper, basically. I just think it's from the injury, like, possibly scar tissue building up, possibly just the fact that the thumb was behind my it was a whole mangled mess yeah but like um, i said it's, it's still I, mostly I've got a, no, no no i'm wondering if it's coming from your neck oh really yeah so that yeah. those are the two things that i have to rule out mm -hmm. because if you were to say here i would have been like yeah it's your hand yeah probably but when you point here yeah <laughs> now we're in another range okay. now we're c5 c6 nerve roots back here okay we call this like your six shooter mm -hmm. c6 nerve root is here okay so i'm going does it feel like a burn like, does it burn? Mm, it no, a, it's just like a... Ache? Dull, like a dull pain dull. and an ache, yeah. Does it only happen when you move your thumb? Yes, yeah. Mostly. And then when it's manipulated to, like, it... it. So, yeah, okay, so when you rub in here, it does feel like a burning sensation. I forgot it. Yeah, it does, for sure. Well, when it's coming from the neck, it'll be positional from the neck. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to move your neck and kind of relieve the pain. Do you understand? That might increase You know it. what? When you just said burning, like if I do twist my neck this way and move it, it does emanate down there with burning. So it might be a little bit of yeah. both. Um, I do see that you're sitting a lot, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, this is all you yeah, know, low back was, pain? Yes, lower back pain, yeah. Does it have a side or is it just straight across it's the It's just middle? straight across that, that L5 uh, sacrum joint. So this shoulder is more prominent, sort of. Yeah, and you can see and like this. And then he did have a tear, right? right? Yeah, the AC joint on this one in high school. So he tore the AC joint. Has it been repaired? Mm -mm. No, I've just let it go. So come here. This is what, this is what a torn AC <laughs> joint looks like right here. So here's the chromioclavicular joint right here. And it's supposed to be attached. Mm -hmm. A little bump or something. Yeah, to the yeah. well, chromian process mm -hmm. and clavicular, and the clavicle here is just kind of um, sticking up there. Yeah. Did they did they give you a grade? Uh, One, two, three. Type, I think you said a type three. Yeah. So was it really like sticking it up? It used to be really, really prominent. Like I could do, I could do like this, and it, would, like, it was really like you could up. see it. And when I was coaching lacrosse, a kid had it two years ago. His was like ten times worse than mine. His was like that far up. Yeah, like it's like. And I was like, oh, I don't feel bad about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, your body used scar tissue. This is a case yeah. where scar tissue is necessary. It, it yeah. put in a glob of glue there and mm -hmm. it healed. Yeah. You got a huge knot right there. And I'm pulling him backwards, but where where he wants to be is forward, and mm -hmm. his torso is a good couple of inches forward over his hip socket. So I need to try to bring all of this back and have him do it without any discomfort. That's the first stage of this. Mm -hmm. And then the second stage is you stretching and exercising so that yeah. this doesn't feel awkward. Right. Like but it feels weird, me pulling you back. Right. It does. Okay, yeah. by the end of this, I want you to be like, oh, that doesn't feel so bad. Yeah. Okay, that means that we've hydrated everything, blood's mm -hmm. flowing, mm -hmm. and then we can start shaping things, okay? okay? Yeah. So come on on your back, face up for me. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I was gonna find a right Alice. No, found a left atlas. First one of the week. <laughs> I wish you guys could like feel what this feels like to me. I mean, I haven't had, I, I'm, I'm even trying to make it go to a right atlas to see mm -hmm. if maybe it's just positional, but no, it still keeps pushing back at me. So if I take the atlas oh, and I rock this back under like this, how does that, I'm gonna hold it here for mm -hmm. a second, but how, I want you to remember what this feels like. Okay. Versus, here's your right side of your atlas. I'm going to tuck that under the skull. Well, a little, little catch over here. Yeah. This side might feel just as bad, that sorry. Feels, no, that does feel just, yeah. I can feel that too, yeah. Now chin back for me, and relax. Yeah, look at that. This is kind of, this is like, now we're in the 4% of the population. We have variables. Mm -hmm. So most people either have a right or left atlas, which all that means is it's either translated compared to the skull, mm -hmm. either right or left. Mm -hmm. In your case, we have it translated to the left, but guess what? It's rocked towards the back. Is that what that, that sort of is protrusion odd. is on the right side? Yes, I've always wondered that, yeah. I, here's the posterior arch of C1 mm -hmm. on the right here. So when I rock that under, it don't want to go back. No, I feel that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to figure something out here. Come on and sit up for me. All right, you're gonna you're going without moving your shoulders. Mm -hmm. You're gonna to look to your right as far as you can. Okay, and then to your left. Way more range of motion over here. Mm -hmm. I want to do some joint play, and I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, this is totally all up in the upper part of the neck. It's actually it's the whole thing. I can feel the ripple at the end for it's sure. The whole thing. Oh my god. I'm on the paraspinal muscles. Okay, over here. Oh right there, yeah. Right where that turn begins, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Never been adjusted though. Never, no. Never been to a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. Right here. I'm gonna correct this posterior atlas first. Right here, you got it. Mm -hmm. There we go, a little bit, gotta get the back end. It's really swollen on this left hand side. There it is, a little bit more. It's just gonna give me a tiny bit. Okay. It's really swollen on that left hand side, so it's yeah. like. I can feel the resistance like towards the very end of it, yeah. 
it's like towards the tail end. I can feel. Yeah, I can feel like. Here? No, it's still over here. Yeah, it's still on that side. When I'm pushing in here, he's saying this is more tender than in here. This is the meniscus right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where the tibia meets the femur here. Mm -hmm. It does. No, that actually right there, you, where you just right there where your thumb is is tender. Yeah. Okay, and he's saying though that most of the pain is in the back. Yeah, that's where it feels like it's in the back. I'm oh, sorry. Like especially going down the steps. I think it's it's such a simple it thing, but it sounds like the hallmarks of Baker cyst. Baker cysts are really hard to test though. Any pain when I do this? No. Patella relax. I don't have any grinding in the patella. No crepitus. If I push this down very carefully, mm -hmm. very carefully, slowly, contract your quad. Does that hurt? No. Oh, <laughs> no. Now, is that the popping that That's, you... So that pop right there, and then if I turn to my right and leave my like, leg behind and it cracks, the knee feels a lot better. Like I'm able to get up and down, and then the persistent pain is on the top of the patella, right where the tendon is all the time. Because I, I just did some bathroom repairs for like two weeks, and I didn't use any knee padding, and it just exacerbated it for sure. Okay. Let's rule out one thing here, okay? So I'm going to do a mini test, okay? Okay. I'm going to take the quadricep, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pull it down towards the patella. Mm-hmm. It's Some, definitely sore. Well, I, that's probably from running, though. I can't quite get into it. Sorry, my tiger tail isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, see that knot right there? Yeah, that's definitely a tender. Yeah. Okay, so the quadricep begins all the way up into here in the pelvis, okay? Mm -hmm. And it ends down below your patella. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So this is torn, and this happened years ago, correct? Yeah, it's been persistent for years. Like I said, I'm, I'm far too stubborn. So do you think I'm going to heal it today? No, no. But if I get, if you get relief, yeah. that I'm going the right way. Right. Okay, so if you, I'm going to take this quadricep and I'm going to stretch it. Right. And I'm going to pull it, not stretching it by bending. Yeah. Doing that, mm -hmm. because then now... Yeah. My knee involved. Yeah. You take a foam roller or something, and you take this quadricep and you push it down onto mm -hmm. the kneecap. Okay. Let's and honestly, like I, I still don't even know. Like, like I said, it's in weird places where it hurts. But yeah, if that. You see that? Right yeah, that's, that's a huge knot. Yeah. So you t I'm gonna hold some pressure. I'm gonna stop rolling on it. Yeah, okay. I know it's it's very uncomfortable. Right there. There. Do some trigger point stuff. Now, still hurting. It's like I can feel. I feel like that. I feel like when you hit that, if I could feel it in the knee too, I feel like it's definitely linked for sure. You come back in here. Basically, here's that back part. But I'm gonna have to come in on this side. Pop it forward. Mm -hmm. You gotta push open the front of the joint. Yeah. Close the back. I know that that's gotta yeah. hurt, but you've gotta. Yeah, it's right here. I feel it. That that's it. Mm -hmm. Is that where it hurts? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm surprised you don't feel anything floating. Nothing floating or like like a ball or something's in the back of there. No. Just swelling. Just and pain. stuck. Yeah, that's it right there. Feel that. Yeah. This also gives me information. You're gonna reach overhead and grab the table. Ooh, see how this, I can tell this little toe's stuck against the foot. Yeah. No, oh, relax, I got you, I got you. No, I don't wanna go that way, wow. I'm gonna give that a break. Okay. How's the neck doing? Neck feels good. Yeah. When you go side to side, is it all right? Oh yeah. Yeah, really good. Ooh, sorry. No, it's fine. 
Look at that. My body just like reacts to it. Doesn't not that it's super painful, it just reacts. You're ticklish. <laughs> I guess not too much body work done then. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a lateral curvature here. It's high up in the spine. Let's see around T seven, eight, that it switches side. Your arm, arms go down to the ground. Relax that. Let me in. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> right here we got one. This is the start of that lateral mm -hmm. curvature. All right. Let me adjust it. Let me see what it wants to do. Deep breath in. All the way out. It's going to feel like I'm... Pushing the air out. Perfect. And again. Mm. Got it. You got it. Mm, that felt good. And again. Last one on the left here. That one's stuck. Nope. All underneath this scapula and this one. See if I can get the next one. Oh, sorry, that had to hurt a little bit. That that just pulled some muscle apart there. That's just it's like breaking a cycle. We're gonna start over again. Next one, next one up. They're all doing good. Yeah, it, it's so weird how the left side, I'm not even, it doesn't react at all. Well, not yet. yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, because this is fine. You have nothing in yeah. here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Here we go, going up, and then, oh no. Yeah. Oh no, getting bad. And that's why once this one let go, I had I was fine traveling up the, yeah. this right side. Now I'm now I'm getting stuck right here. This this level here at T seven T A is just not liking you. Oh, there goes again. It's okay. It's okay. I've got to just be patient and work with you. Just keep breathing. That's the only thing I can say. <laughs>
a lovely one right here. This side is definitely more petechiae. Nothing on the surface on your shoulders. Here's that left side, which we knew was gonna bruise. This is his very first time going through this, so I expect it. Doesn't happen to everybody, though. And watch, let's do the right side. Let's see if it comes out over here. Let's see what's going on with this knee. Hmm. Hold on, like kind of like brace yourself. Here we go. There it is. Okay. We're so violent in here. <laughs> This is the kind of motion. You need to be squeezing this, mm -hmm. push that through to the front. Kind of get it? Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of it for you, get you started. Yeah. Like a, like a little uh, squishy stress ball? Yes. Well. No, it truly feels like I can definitely turn it better. Yeah, and this, that way. This bump right here doesn't feel as much of a. Okay, I'm just wondering whether to mess with it anymore. Here we go. Head back like you're falling off the table. I've got you. You're not. Oh yeah. I think we've got all of it, but I'm gonna see if I've got one little piece back up in here at the top of the sacrum. Yep, there it was. Perfect. That Not bad great. at all. All right, come on and sit up for me. When the, when the firework exploded, that's uh, the gunpowder like made like a tattoo scar basically, burned it in my skin. I don't know if this thing can get it better than my hand, but when I feel crunchies like that, yeah. that's the kind of stuff that I work on. Okay. I feel nothing in here. I mean that's. Is that what you're talking about? Kind of, yeah. I think it's honestly just more, if to me it has more nerve damage than anything, it might not be scar tissue, but yeah, this is where... The, the, that is scar some tissue. scar tissue. This, yeah. I think you've just obliterated it. Yeah, like I said, every day I'll subconsciously just keep <laughs> yeah. rubbing, rubbing. I mean, if anything, it's on the surface. Like, mm -hmm. I could use my scraper. But whether or not this is going to help it, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It is, if anything, to give you some relief, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yeah, it was crazy. I did physical therapy and all that, and what helped me a lot was actually playing on the Xbox where the thumbstick was. <laughs> Otherwise, like, my, my thumb wouldn't have movement. I just would use my whole hand to move it. Well, to tell you the truth, the, this pain right here yeah. is very common with my gamers. Oh, really? Because they go pew, pew, pew yeah. all day long, <laughs> and they, we call it trigger face, de cuir vein. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you were familiar. That's what I thought maybe this was. Yeah. It could be like um, a tendonitis kind of thing. It could be, yeah. But it, from overworking it, yeah. maybe. But my, I never have success treating it here. Here mm -hmm. we go. Here we yeah. go. I have to go up into here. Yeah. And we call it like an alcoholic anonymous, but we call it like gaming anonymous. <laughs> We have withdrawal. Right. Like, oh. I've been sober for four years right. from gaming. Took a week off, I think. And there we go. Any other questions for me? Something no, I think you really explained all of it as we went. Yeah. Okay, come on, stand up for me. Yeah, you're already there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You're already there. You see, as you look down, mm -hmm. look down, it pulls. Here we go, I'm gonna show you some measurements. All right, we're done. Nice.